hey guys welcome back to another video and after many days we are finally back with a comparison between redmi note 10 pro versus realme 8 pro it's going to be a really interesting comparison both the phones are pretty good at their price point and now let's start the video this time we won't start with the price instead we are directly starting with the display and at the end we are going to talk about the pricing now the display redmi note 10 pro has a 6.67 inch full hd plus super amoled display with a 120 hertz refresh rate it's a massive point for Redmi Note series because previous generation Redmi Note series all had IPS displays whereas the Realme 8 Pro also has a 6.4 inch Super AMOLED display and this one is smaller than the Redmi Note 10 series and pretty more compact and I like this size very much anyways but this misses the 120Hz on the Redmi Note 10 Pro instead has a 60Hz refresh rate. Whereas the touch sampling rate is same between both of them, both have 180Hz of touch sampling rate and the Realme 8 Pro is lighter than the Redmi Note 10 Pro although they do not have much of a difference. Redmi Note 10 Pro is around 189 grams, whereas Realme 8 Pro is around 178 grams. Now Redmi Note 10 Pro officially has Gorilla Glass 5 but to be honest Realme 8 Pro does not have officially any Gorilla Glass protection but they must have Gorilla Glass protection since their predecessors did have it. The protection of Gorilla Glass on Realme 8 Pro is totally unspecified. I even googled that but I still couldn't found it. So I do not know the protection of Gorilla Glass in Realme 8 Pro exactly. Now moving ahead to the processor redmi note 10 pro definitely wins here because it has a qualcomm snapdragon 732g processor whereas the realme 8 pro has a qualcomm snapdragon 720g now 720g is a pretty old processor whereas the 732 is comparatively new although it is not totally new anyways but 732g is slightly more powerful than 720g as if we talk about the antutu scores 732g has around 2.9 lakhs of antutu scores whereas the realme 8 pro's 720g has around 2.7 lakhs of antutu score now antutu score i do not believe exactly but to be honest 732G is better than 720G overall. Now let's move ahead to the cameras. Now this is really interesting because Redmi Note 10 Pro has a 64 megapixel Samsung sensor whereas Realme 8 Pro has a 108 megapixel Samsung sensor. Nobody has used any Sony sensor right now and if we talk about the rest of the cameras Redmi Note 10 Pro has 8 megapixel ultra wide camera with a 5 megapixel macro camera which they are calling tele macro but it is basically a macro camera along with a 2 megapixel useless depth sensor. Whereas Realme has 8 megapixel ultra wide camera and 2 plus 2 macro and depth useless sensors. So yes, at least the Redmi has a 5 megapixel macro, I appreciate Redmi for that, even Realme should start giving that. Anyways, if we talk about the selfie, Redmi Note 10 Pro has a 16 megapixel centrally aligned single punch hole selfie camera, whereas the Realme 8 Pro has a left aligned punch hole selfie camera which is also 16 megapixel. Now it is surprising that they have downgraded the selfie basically from 30 to 16 megapixel if you compare it with its predecessor. Now in the camera segment, to be honest, Realme 8 Pro shots look pretty better and I've seen many YouTubers videos and according to them, your Realme 8 Pro's 108 megapixel camera does the job properly. Anyways, for the rest of the cameras I cannot comment because both of the outputs do not look that great anyways. Now let's move forward to the next segment which is the battery. Now battery segment is totally upon your choice because Redmi Note 10 Pro has a 5020 mAh battery whereas Realme 8 Pro has a 4500 mAh battery. This but Redmi Note 10 Pro comes with 33W fast charging in the box whereas Realme 8 Pro comes with 50W support and 65W fast charging in the box. Now the difference is that some has more battery with less fast charging and other one has less battery with more fast charging and I'll any day prefer more battery and less fast charging and you can comment me down your opinion about this. Now let's move ahead to the next segment which is the pricing. The Redmi Note 10 Pro has 3 variants 6 plus 64, 6 plus 128 and 8 plus 128. Starting price is around 16,000 and 6 plus 120 GB goes to 17,000, 8 plus 120 GB at 18,000. Whereas the Realme 8 Pro's price 6 plus 120 GB is 18,000, 8 plus 120 GB at 20,000. So Realme 8 Pro does not have any 6 plus 64 GB variant which is a really good point from Realme. Now let's move ahead to the verdict about which one you should think of buying. Here's our verdict. If you want to choose the Redmi Note 10 Pro, probably the reasons would be the 120Hz AMOLED display, 1300 nits of brightness which is slightly more than Realme 8 Pro, Snapdragon 732G slightly better processor although both are 4G, 5020 mAh battery slightly better than the Realme 8 Pro, this one has a glass back whereas Realme 8 Pro has a plastic back. Also to mention that Redmi Note 10 Pro has stereo speakers and IR blaster whereas Realme 8 Pro has mono speakers and no IR blaster whereas Realme 7 Pro had a stereo speaker, Realme has basically downgraded it to mono speaker the Realme 8 Pro which is pretty surprising. Whereas if we move ahead to Realme 8 Pro, the reason to choose that would be the 108 megapixel rear camera, 50 watt fast charge, faster than the Redmi Note 10 Pro, 
and it has an in display fingerprint scanner which i absolutely adore i any day prefer in display fingerprint scanner over side mounted fingerprint scanner but overall who is a complete package ask me i'd pick the redmi note 10 pro because it offers way better specs because 120 hertz amoled at a price point like 16 17 thousand is a really massive point and yes, this was all about in this video and I personally feel that Realme 8 Pro is not a worthy upgrade over the Realme 7 Pro. Do comment me down your thoughts in the comment section below and I hope you like this video. And do like, share, subscribe and comment. I'll be back in the next video soon. So till then, bye and thanks for watching.